man who was still visibly shaken when we saw him says he remains in shock and disbelief he did not want to show his face but tells us pastor kevin smith who is now dead had him and the other church members under a spell on the night in question he says smith posted on his facebook page that a tsunami was approaching and that all members should pack up and come to the ark a reference to the church the young man said he went to the church because he believed the pastor that the tsunami would kill everyone outside he says inside smith became angry and began acting as if he was tormented he started to cover things and mash them up mash up he wind them around for it mash up cheer mash up everything Mm -hmm. Mash up glass and all I cut up himself and I ball out in the church. And I say, oh, what is this, man? I wonder if I chance for me when I chance for me in God now. I do your things around your mind now, you see me? Mm -hmm. Then I'm walk and I cuss and I walk and I say, people turn it, turn them back on him and he come in the flesh and then realize him and all that. That's mm -hmm. God. Mm -hmm. He realize him. So we did up on the gun and he walk and I, you see me? Mm -hmm. Come on, some, he all walk away. The young man says in spite of all that, he still saw Smith as a god and never lost respect for him. He says at this time, about nine members were inside while others were outside clamoring to get inside the church. Because some people could come on the property. Because mm -hmm. people want to come in now, you know. So they are ball out, say, your, your majesty, your majesty, let us in, let us in, we're going to die. At one point inside the church, the young man recalled that the pastor gave instructions to a church member to kill another, saying he would bring him back to life. The member was stabbed in the back, and immediately after, the young man says Smith followed up by shooting him. The young man says a few minutes later, he saw the member that Smith had just shot back inside the church, begging him for help. So Mr. Corey, Mr. Corey, I walk and I say, Your Majesty, I'm, I got shot. Can you heal the pain? He recalled another bizarre act by Pastor Smith, which led to the death of a man who had come to the church for healing. He says the man was sick and had some tubes in his chest. So he passed, I looked upon him and say, Yo, do you believe that I am God? And the man said, Yes, I believe. Do you believe that I can resurrect you when you die? And the man said, yes, sir, he passed there. I said, all right. Pull out the chest the whole time on him. The man start bleed out on him. While the man start bleed out, the man take off his shirt, take off his pants, and, and Andre, and our next man, we don't know any of them. Like enough people there, see me, put him on the ground and make him bleed out. That time, man, you see, on the ground, he black. Man, black, man, he black, slim, and black. He bleed out on the ground, man. And the man passed, I said, he must die. And I call it resurrect him again, you understand? Following that, the young man says Smith gave him and another member knives, saying he was going to begin allowing the other members inside and that they should be killed. It was then, he says, Smith called Tanika, the late employee of appliance traders inside the church, and started questioning her. And the pastor said, do you believe that I am God in the flesh? And he say, she said, yes. And then the pastor said, do you believe that I can resurrect you again when you die? And the, and the girl and the said, yes, yes, you see me? And then the pastor said to Andre, saying, go and kill her. Oh, but this girl has no much smile, you know, they are dead. Run for your life. In my mind, no. Because mm -hmm. God made it say it out loud, maybe that said, send somebody if you can kill me instead. Mm -hmm. tell us you are some type of foolish brother. What did she do hmm? after the pastor said that? Did she put up any resistance or she stood there no. waiting to be killed? She will up her hand. She will up her hand and start bawling and say, God, you are God. I tell the man, say, my God, you know. You are God, you are God. You say, I kneel on her knee and the man just go and uh, run out, just go and cut it. I see a man cut the woman through and I say, John, you are really this is going on? Is a woman, the man just kill in front of me. Yeah, but I'm there, look at me and say, yo, no, man. This serious guy, all the time me a priest, if I go tap him. But if I go tap him, maybe I get shot or, you see me? He says that sometime after 5 in the evening, members of the security forces arrived, but it took some time before they stormed the church. The young man said the policewoman, who is a member of the church, was kneeling beside Smith 
who then gave her instructions to take on members of the security forces who were outside. And tell her, say, yo, go on, go worry, police, then me give you power, you can't dead, go on. Say, policeman, get up. Kaiba, he gave you policeman a robe, you know. When a female robe, them put on you over her. So she feel mighty, you know, like, so she can't dead. Say, policeman, walk like a robe out galang. But she no go, you go for your no shot at all. It turn up. One side, so you know. Then he says Smith instructed another member of the church who lived at Smith's house to take up a knife and attack the police and soldiers. The pastor tell him, say, go. No shot can kill you. You cannot die. You are immortal. Go and fight. You say, come on, take up a long old knife, someone like a, you know, a rumble knife. Eh? Mm -hmm. Take up a knife and run out my soldier and police. Was shot for your man, what man? In past dead man, about 15 shot in get. The young man says he was shot while trying to flee the church compound in fear of his life. He says he ran towards the police in the dark who believed he was trying to attack him and was shot. He's refuting claims that they were all naked when the security forces stormed the church. He did say that the pastor gave her an instruction for them to take off their clothing and adorn themselves in white material. He said that did happen, but that they were always wearing their undergarment. Kirk right here in Montego Bay for TVJ News.